Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So we've got aero side skirts for the JCW ones. So we've got to remove those from this car. Now I've already done that process. So I'm gonna walk you through how to remove them from the car. And then obviously if you wanna fit them, you just reverse the process. Let's go down now and show you how I actually remove these from the car. Okay, so when it comes to the R53 aero side skirts, you don't have to take the arches off. Get just off for another job. But what you'll see is you've got a number of these across the bottom here so they're on the underside and you can actually do this while the car's on the floor it doesn't have to be jacked up you can see let me just get the camera underneath so you can see focus there and all you've got to do is get a trim removal tool and pop that center of that clip out you can see that all the way along so i'm just working my way along the side skirts to get those off using a tool like this and popping those down so we'll do those first and then we'll look at the next step okay so just in this back corner here we've just removed this screw so you can see it's a posi screw it's just in there and that's in that back corner so let's double check the front before we try and remove the side skirt from the car and check see if there's a similar one at the front No, doesn't look like there's anything at the front. Okay, so bear with me because this car is a little bit ugly, but it's, it's doing the job for what I need to do. So I've got to take these skirts off. So you saw me release all of these. There's around 10 of them or so underneath the bottom side. Unlike different other generations, there's not any clips under this strip. There should be just like double-sided tape. So on mine, it looks like the previous owner didn't put any double-sided tape. So I can get my fingers all the way under if there yeah there is some but it's it's not sticky anymore and you'll see as we pull this forward they're just some clips and all you have to do now is pull the bump, uh, the side skirt away from the car and the clips are designed to break before the brackets so it'll sound horrible but i'm going to show you that she will do that and get it off the car okay so you've got your screw off at the back all your sort of push pins along the bottom so what's your next job? So your next job is to actually uh, just pull it from the car. So I'm gonna pop the camera down on the floor. And all we're gonna do is pull. So there should be sticky double-sided tape across the top of here. There's no clips, but actually the sticky tape's gone dry on this one. So it's actually already disconnected. So this should actually be really easy to take off the car. So let's just pop the camera down and we'll show you that. Okay, so all you have to do is grab underneath grab at the top and pull away now it looks like whoever installed these on my car actually didn't fit most of the clips because most of the clips are missing but you will have what sounds like a braking noise when you try and remove it from the car and that is simply because they're one use clips so what i'll do let me whip this off the car now we've pulled it mostly off it's just one tight clip at the front and then i'll show you the clips on the back so you know where you can pull to remove it from the car there you go that's off I always find it interesting when you work on cars other people have worked on because you see some of the odd things that they've tried to do so it looks like they've tried to glue this top edge but what you can see there is it should just be some double-sided tape to stick that bit to the car and all these brackets here have clips in them and a lot of these clips are, stay on the car and you just have to pop them off but you can see that's the sort of clip and it's just designed to break when you remove it from the car so that you don't break the back of the side skirts you just break in the, uh, the the cheap clips that cost pennies to replace. So that's the side skirt off the car. So let's just show you that now and ignore the wrap. So this car is being broken at the moment. So it's a bit of a sorry state, but you can see these are the holes where the clips go. And when they break, they stay in the car like that. And all you need to do is get, depending on which one, some of them, you can rotate 90 degrees, some of, so these big fat ones in these rectangular holes you can these little white ones pop it out the car like that and you could put a little cloth or something beyond there just so you don't damage the paintwork obviously this shell is probably going to the scrap yard so i don't need to worry too much but you can see yeah that's where all of the clips go on those side skirts okay so with the aero skirts you have an extra panel to help hold them in place which is this plastic panel here so it runs the length of the car now, in 
this channel here you can see there's clips little posi screwdriver just rotate those clips all the way down to remove that so if you ever buy second hand jcw aero skirts off an r53 and r50 you need that part and um, to make them fit now these are expensive for the r53 ones but you can actually they do a similar part on the second gen r56 that you can actually use if your side skirts don't come with that um, which is quite interesting and apparently that works as well so i'm going to whip these off now by just taking these screws out all the way along little plastic screws and then that will drop off okay so that's the skirts off the car so if you found today's video useful please hit that like button and subscribe so you get alerts every time we upload thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video Ooh. Ooh.